What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate everybody that's tuning in today. Um, I'm excited to be back on a kayak today. It's been a minute since I've been on a kayak. I've been actually surf fishing a lot here lately, fishing off the beach. I do got another banger video coming out. You might see that video before you see this one. But I'm actually on the beach, caught some nice sharks. If you haven't seen that video, I will put the link up above or down below. Either one, I can't, I always decide on the fly. But today we're targeting inshore. You can hear the birds in the background. We're targeting flounder today. And they're starting to move in our base systems. They're coming in through the pass. And we'll be throwing some gulp swimming mullet. Uh, some fish bites that was called boxers, I believe also. And we're gonna try our luck, try to get us a flat boys, some flounder. They're probably delicious inshore fish, probably one of the best inshore fish you can actually have. It's like one of my favorite to eat, so let's just look. Let's see if we can get on them, guys. Let's get it. Alright guys, so pretty much all I'm using is a this is a quarter ounce chick head. It's a gold one. It don't really matter the color, I don't imagine, but this is a gold swimming mullet. Has a curly tail, three and a half inch. I'm just gonna thread this bad boy on there. Like so. A lot of people like using Fight Club Dirty Boxers. But this one's I kind of find it hard in tackle stores. So I went the goat swimming mullet. And this gives a great action too with this curly tail swimming in the water. Light line, I got a 15 pound Beyond Braid. I got 15 pound Beyond Braid, I mean Beyond Floral Carbon Leader as well. The pink one. And on a Stratic 2500 on a G Lumis little rod. Nice little in inshore setup. And we got a grass flat right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work this line all the way down to that seawall. And see if we can get on with some flat boys. That is the ultimate goal. Break home some dinner. Uh, one of my main goals is, uh, this year is actually eat more fresh fish. So I'm gonna be keeping a lot more fish. You know, eating fresh fish is better for you. How long you know? How long you don't fry it? But so I'm gonna be working this bank line and see what to do. Dang it, man. Did you snack something right here, too? Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a stud. I got one too. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah. Oh god, it's, it's on my rod. Here. Come by me. Guys, we just finally got one. Who been grinding all day? I mean, Carrie just doubled up on some slabs, Carrie. Some slabs, buddy. Oh, we just got some straight up slabs. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Let's see what it, let's see what it measures. We'll measure this guy real quick, see what he measures. Don't flop off or I will cry. Jesus, he almost came undone. Mine is 17 and a half inches. Nice one. He ain't that 20 mark. Carrie, you want to measure yours? Yeah. All right, guys. Got this beautiful flounder right here. This thing's gonna make fine, fine, fine stuff flying there. I might do catch a cup. Not 100% sure yet. Okay, go ahead and hold yours up too. Come over here. I don't know if I can see you, but yeah. 
Yeah. Nice matching pair. Yeah, nice matching pair. Mine's bleeding out because I'm bleeding them. Call it at 10.30. Yeah. Yeah. How long do you think it'll take us to get back and load up? 15, 10, 15 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, not yet. I'm gonna try to get him. You didn't like that net. Come on. Oh, that's a nice flounder too. Stay down, buddy. Vicious head shakes, vicious head shakes. Yes, got him. Second flounder of the day. Finally, guys. Oh. Huh? Did you get as deep as I did? I mean, I said I skipped. I skipped. I skipped that bait right in there. And this is a thick guy right here. He is. Yeah, flip it, flip it, flip it, flip. And the bait came out. Berkeley white swimmer mullet did it again. Nice bait. Outstanding. Ah, flip it, flip it, ah, flip it, flip. And. Uh, Quick little brain spike. I think that's his brain. Does anybody know what a brain of a founder is? Because I don't, huh? There you go. Another beautiful flounder. I'm holding them really tight so they don't flop out. And uh, let me get a measurement on them real quick just in case. Because 16 inches. Perfectly legal to keep flounder. This thing's going to be delicious. I love eating these things. Flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. Flounder flops so much, man. It's ridiculous how much they flop. Alright, guys, let's get loaded up and head to the kitchen. Up, ready to go. If you don't know how to debone or clean a flounder, I will leave a link in the description or above. I made actually a couple of videos about that. Pretty simple to do. I didn't want to bore you guys, but we're cooking stuffed flounder. We're actually going to use some fresh crawfish from a crawfish bowl we had yesterday. So, the first ingredient I want to do is go and put a cup of breadcrumbs in the bowl. And we this is all double ingredients because we're doing two flounder. This is about a, would you say, two cups of crawfish into the bowl. Some old bay, some bar some parsley. Four tablespoons of a uh, of mayonnaise and two tablespoons of mustard. You can do this without uh, actually using uh, making stepping rack stove top. And you're just gonna get that a good mix. Now you might need to add more mayonnaise, you might need to add more uh, consistency you want. Which I think I'm gonna need to add more mayonnaise, you think? Alright, there you go. You got that kind of chunky consistency. Now you wanna get two uh I guess oven safe baking sheets. You get you some non-stick sprayer, or you can even use butter. Spray it. Or you can wrap it in tin foil if you like. Take your flounder, put it in the in the dish, go ahead and open them up. Wash your hands so you don't contaminate anything. And I like to go ahead and season the, the filet. I got some Tony Satries. Use your favorite seasoning, doesn't matter. You can use blackening, you can use salt and pepper. And you go ahead and take your stuffing and go ahead and add them to the, the flounder. Now 
Now this is crawfish stuff flounder. This is something different. I, know, I always do it with shrimp and crab. But this is actually crawfish. Now you're gonna take your butter, freshly melted, and go and paint over it. Paint the meat, paint over this. Butter makes everything better. You're gonna close your uh, meat pocket up, flounder pocket, like this. You can go ahead and sprinkle some more seasoning on it as well. I will. It's on the outside, just a little bit. Because flounder's already good taste, you don't want to do nothing to it. Then I like to do is go ahead and baste it in butter again, just outside. Yeah, perfect timing. The oven's ready. Let's go put our fish in. Come on. Oven's preheated to 350. Let's go ahead and add our stuffed flounder in. We'll close it up and be back in about 25 minutes. It is time. Look at that. I have one more in there. We'll take that one out. Alright guys, here it is. Fresh out of the oven. As you can tell, it does look delicious. Super white flaky meat. Look at that. That just looks good. I'm going to go ahead and cut me a little portion out right now. So, take this knife. Oh, you can hear it. Now would you just look at that. Some good old fashioned stuffed southern flounder. See the steam come off of it? Let's try it. Mm. Give me some of this nice white meat. There's some of the stuffing on it too. Now look at that. Doesn't that look good? All right, I know it's gonna be a little hot, but I can't wait. It smells so good. You know it's good when you go back with a bite instantly. But this is my first time uh, actually doing a crawfish. I always do it with uh, crab or a shrimp. Bite pause. I always do it with um, crab or shrimp. First time doing the crawfish, and it gives a little little Cajun twist to it. It gives a little spice to it. And it's absolutely delicious with flounder. And um, I am very satisfied with this, and I can't wait to eat it. So I'm gonna cut this video short so I can get to eating. Appreciate, <clears throat> I appreciate all you guys watching. If you have any questions about the recipe, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer. And see you guys next time. Later.